How's it guys and welcome back to Ultimate Exotics. So in today's video we're going to be talking about a very special um, and new house like mutation known as the blue eyed mutation. And now for those of you that have followed Ultimate Exotics and have followed us throughout the years you would have seen that we are very passionate about our house snakes. We work with a lot of different species and also a lot of different mutations of house snakes. And um, over the years, what we've been familiar with the more common uh, mutations, and that is your T-minus albino, which is a recessive mutation, your T-positive albino, and your hypermelanistic or hyper mutation, which is also a recessive morph. And now, um, in the recent years, a new mutation called the blue-eyed uh, morph has now come uh, into the hobby, and it is really exciting, and it creates some beautiful snakes. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to take a look, we're going to, well, we're going to first of all teach you all about this mutation um, and explain a little bit how it works and what you can expect to see in it and then so, show you some amazing examples of uh, this morph and also um, a combination of this morph with a T minus albino which is also just really beautiful and uh, what's so great about these new morphs is that they just generate new interest in a species, um, it gets everyone excited, gets everyone interested again um, which is always a good thing. So new morphs is, is always an exciting thing and always a good thing for a species and for the hobby. So let's start out by just learning a little bit more about where this morph all originated from. So it's quite amazing this blue-eyed mutation, what the first one was actually found in the wild and actually a lot of mutations are originally found in the wild. Um, people are looking for reptiles and they find something very unusual and then obviously they hold on to it and try and keep it and breed it and try and recreate that mutation and prove that it's recessive or uh, at least um, that it is genetic. So the blue-eyed house snake, it was first found in the wild. It was actually, you know, uh, ultimate exotics, we are in South Africa, we're in Durban, South Africa. And um, the blue-eyed mutation was found here in Durban, South Africa. And it was actually found by a friend of ours, Don, um, and it wasn't far away from where he lives. And he was out herping, uh, looking for reptiles. And you can just imagine the excitement when he first found that first blue-eyed house snake, this almost white house snake, it's just incredible. Um, yeah, and, and uh, he was keeping house snakes at the time as well. So he um, hung, on to, hung on to this very unusual, almost white house snake, and he started breeding it. And um, fortunately, he got some um, good eggs uh, from the first breeding. Um, all the babies came out normal, which then he started thinking, okay, is this a once-off type of thing? Or could this now be recessive? Are these babies now hip for this new color? And uh, when he bred them back, he got some more out. So it proved that uh, the mutation was recessive. And that, that's a really exciting thing. Um, and it is quite amazing that it's just found, you know, very close to where we stay. Um, and now that it's um, being bred more and more and combined with other things we've seen, this mutation spread around uh, reptile collections around the world. It's quite exciting. Um, so, now I think the best thing to do is let's go and get a few blue eye mutations uh, or a few blue eye house snakes. Let's have a closer look at them and we can explain a little bit about what this mutation uh, does and how uh, it looks on these house snakes. Okay guys, so here we have a juvenile blue eyed house snake and you can see where it gets its name from. Um, if you look carefully at those eyes, they definitely have a blue coloration, a very distinct blue coloration. Now, the interesting thing with this mutation is when it first hatches, it looks very similar to uh, the recessive hypo mutation, uh, which is a fairly common mutation. And the only difference is that they look quite a lot lighter. So there, there is a distinct difference, um, but that was a bit, of a, con a bit of confusion when the first ones hatched. The guys were unsure, is this a hypo? Um, or is this the blue eye? Because the, the unusual thing about the blue eye is as it grows, it gets lighter and lighter and some get close to like a grayish white color um, as adults. So that was the confusion in the beginning. But you'll see when they first hatch, they are basically like a light hypo house snake. And then as they grow with each shed, they get lighter and lighter and their colors just get better and better. So that was is quite an unusual thing about this blue eyed mutation. This one is about uh, just over a month old. So it's starting to lighten up now, but you can see um, the blue eyes there and they're just so beautiful. Such an unusual mutation. Now the reason why we call it blue eye 
and not um, a blue-eyed leucistic is because when the first one was found, it was um, a sub-adult, so it was closer to white than the grayish colors. Um, so it was presumed this is a blue-eyed, and it had the blue eyes, so it was presumed it was a blue-eyed leucistic house snake. But then with the breeding, when they first hatched out like that light hypo color, then we thought, okay, this can't be a true leucistic mutation because a true leucistic should be pure white from the time it's born with no color whatsoever, with blue eyes. But these do have this gray color and you can still see the pattern. Whereas a leucistic, you shouldn't see any pattern. It should be pure white. So that's why instead of calling it a blue-eyed leucistic, the name was changed to just a blue-eyed, which I think suits this mutation very well. Okay, let's have a look at one of our sub-adults and adult blue eyes. Okay, so here is a sub-adult uh, blue-eyed and here you can see how much lighter it was than the previous one and you can also see the blue eyes starting to really show um, in this animal. Look at that. So that's the blue eye. Look at those blue eyes. Some animals are lighter than others. Others show more gray. Others are maybe more white. And they've got this, it's almost like this grayish beige color to it. Very unique. But you can just see clearly now that blue eye on this um, sub-adult. Just beautiful. Now let's have a look at one of our adult females. Okay, she's moving around quite a bit, like how snakes do. But this is our adult female, blue-eyed house snake. Um, she's just laid a clutch of eggs about a week ago. So she's um, a little bit on the slender side, but I think her actual body condition looks really good, um, especially after laying a clutch of eggs. But uh, here you can see how they look as adults. And they're still just so beautiful. And that eye kind of darkens out as adults. Um, if you see her eye, it's now like this deep blue color. Here you can see her eye. Almost looks black in a way. But still has you know, a slight color to her, not pure white. Still that gray bayish color, very unusual. And look at her head and her eye color. She is just so beautiful. So yeah, such a cool mutation. Um, it's like a it's like a hypermelanistic mutation, uh, which increases as as the animal grows. After each shed, the the dilution increases, which is quite incredible. So a very unique recessive mutation in house snakes. And um, so far, it's only been combined with the T-minus albino and I'm going to show you an example of the T-minus albino blue eye next and um, that is just also such an incredible uh, combo morph in the house snake one of my favorites so let's let's have a look at that and we'll get this girl back okay guys so here we have the T-minus albino blue eye so this is now a double recessive with the T-minus albino and the blue-eyed mutation. And in my opinion, this is one of the most incredible morph combos in the house snakes. Um, and it just, it makes this really dilute pink color. Um, and the eyes are just in this incredible red color. They also show like this tinge of purple or blue as they grow. I'll show you a sub-adult shortly. Okay, so here is the male adult uh, T-minus albino blue-eyed house snake. You can see the males are quite a lot smaller than the females. Um, that's common with house snakes. Um, but you can see how this guy's gone really white. And um, I just want to show you his eyes. Look at those beautiful eyes. They're like solid red with this extra color in it. Very unusual. And they've got this real pink color to them. And they do vary like normal house snakes do. So these mutations do vary. Some are more pink, some are more white, some are in between. But it's just such an impressive double recessive mutation, the T-minus albino blue eye. 
And it's so cool to see an adult uh, with these colors, just so unusual for house snakes. And that's why we're so excited about this, this blue-eyed morph and we're looking forward to combining it with other mutations and seeing what it does. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing those beautiful blue-eyed house snakes. Um, it is such an incredible mutation. I think it's really uh, been a good mutation and exciting mutation for the house snakes. Um, house snakes used to be considered as kind of like a snake that is cheap, common, um, breeds excessively, and nothing, not, not much attention was kind of paid to them. But now with these new mutations, these new species uh, becoming available and being bred, um, there's a lot of new interest and a lot of excitement in house snakes um, on an international scale in the hobby all around the world, which is really great to see. And uh, we love, love seeing that because we're so passionate about our house snakes, so we love to share this passion with other people. And um, I think the house snakes have been very underrated, and other guys that um, keep collie breeds are now starting to see what uh, the potential of these house snakes and all this, these beautiful mutations and the different varieties, and they're starting to keep them themselves and uh, and promote them themselves so it's just growing more and more um, which is really excellent to see um, but yeah guys thanks so much for watching this video i hope you managed to i hope you learned something new today and uh, please don't forget to hit that like button leave a comment below and most importantly please don't forget to subscribe we'll see you guys in the next video keep well cheers